we're sort of getting to the business end of the whole thing now and you know we've got a lot of parts showing up now and next week and some um, but we think that firing up the engine and a few key milestones are, are only days away so yeah we're looking forward to, to sort of getting that out there and, and seeing uh, seeing it make some noise and, and hear what it's all about yeah so with brand new chassis uh, it's the first time that our team's ever had brand new cars and supercars so we're really excited about that and also a level playing field with everyone having the same kit of bits so you know we're pretty excited um, it's I think anyone who put, makes uh, predictions for the year with so many unknowns is, uh, is a bit bold so we won't go out there and set targets um, publicly anyway but you know we're very confident that we've um, we've done the homework done the work and you know we've been waiting for Gen 3 for for a long time so we're excited to hit the track yeah I think we're, we're pretty happy with our driver lineup going into this year like JLB coming back for a second year with the team uh, we're very happy with the progress we made with him last year uh, and you know Cam you know he's, he's been a great one to watch in Super 2 and and Porsche over the last few years and, and you know we're excited to help him make that step up to the big league. So debuting in Newcastle is going to be pretty exciting. Um, I think it was Mostert who said Mini Macau which is a, a pretty uh, pretty uh, adapt um, description so I think it's going to be an exciting place to go. Haven't been there since 2019 um, but the debuting new cars is going to have its challenges at that circuit but I think we're all excited just to be back in town.